Okay. Bob's on one. Yep. Oh, sheep's head. Sheep's head on a float rig. Woohoo! I wanna go fishing. Cause it takes my stress away. I wanna go fishing. Try and cast my blues away. I I don't want to watch the clock, I want to go fishing, I don't ever want to stop. Who let them dogs out? The Traveler did. The traveler. traveler did it again. Traveler caught the only keeper trout out of eight, and now he's got seven stripes of jetty snapper. On a float rig. Come on. All right, Traveler, how much does he weigh? I'm going to say four and a half, maybe four. Well, there it is right here. There it is. About four. About four, right at four. Four pound sheep said. And we also have a keeper beer out. I'll put a picture up right now. All right, another keeper. We've got how many keepers? Um, two? Three. Three keepers out of about, I don't know, 12 trout. So it's not like we're tearing up the keepers. But we got some. But there's a few in here where we're fishing. The mystery spot. And I've been using these kales. And I'm telling you, see that little hook? I talked about it in other videos. I never really believed it, but that's a lip latching SOB right there when it comes to Mr. T route. Come on. Alright, big fish, folks. Big fish. Bob's on a big fish. It's big sheeps. Big old sheeps. We thought it was a red. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Bob. Oh, he's kicking your butt, Bob. Yeah. I'll tell you folks, this float has been up and this float has been down. Oh, he's going under the boat, Bob. Get under him, get under him, reel down. Get on him, Bob. Good night. Woo, look at the size of this one. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, Bob. Oh my God. Bob is the damn fishing magician. Look at that lip latch, folks. Look at that. Man, I was wondering if these hooks were tough enough to bring in a big fish that fought hard. That's a stud. There's my super long needle nose. Look at that. All right, let's get out the booger grip. All right, folks. Traveler does it again. Eight pound sheep's head on the float rig. Eight pounder on the nose. Stud. Give us some blow by blow, Bob. Come on. Well, Give, tell us what it was like, Bob. It was great. <laughs> I have not been fishing for a year. I've been COVID isolated. Yes. I thought it was more like a year and a half, but it was March of last year. March of last year. And look at the man comes back for redemption. He's putting him in the box. All right. Bob got another keeper. Upside down rod cam, folks. So, got a big red on. All right, all righty, there we go. Even a blind squirrel finds an anchor every once in a while. <laughs> and that's me compared to Bob. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be a keeper. They never are. Get it out? No, or did yes. it just break off? No, I got it out. That could be mine. Remember, I lost one. Yes. Look at that, folks. Here's my hook. And and Bob had a big fish hooked up earlier, about five minutes ago, and his line broke off. And look at that. There's his hook. So don't think red fish are that smart. There's two hooks, mine, and the one we left and got stuck in them 
now we get our hook back. So, we hooked this fish before. And if you pinch his tail, he's 28 inches long. 28, an inch over keeper. Boom! Oh, throwing <laughs> fish at the customers. That, that's not a good thing. Come here. I guess you'll edit that out. Yeah. Half the shit that I edit out would be so interesting. You know that? Dave's blooper reel. All right, an inch too big to keep, folks. That cam. Another sheep said. All right. All right. I'm telling you them I'm loving them hooks now and I know that these have always been a uh, old style whoa come here dude I know these have always been an old style flute rig fishing hook but I just never really thought of them too much as too very strong but they sure do lip latch the fish and they should have bend easy <clears throat> okay I'll have to give you a new hook Bob or you just take mine all right folks there we go another one for the fish bag I've got another and he's got a flatty this time burning down the house. This is a true flounder. This ain't one of them flukes, but it's a fluke that we just caught one. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Another one for the box. Actually, another one for the fish bag. Goes in the fish bag. Joins all of his friends. Another sheep. Kind of puny compared to Bob's eight pounder. But it's called redemption, folks. Redemption for all the times they ate these size sheep's head, ate every fiddler on my boat. <laughs> so we'll take them. All right, Bob's hooked up again. Daiwa Ryoga, eight foot, ugly stick tiger. Power handle. The best Daiwa reel ever. Oh, it did? So I have no idea. I see the float. The float's coming. And it's a giant redfish. Another oversized redfish. It's a net. Ah, that's called a bronze back right there now, folks. That's a bronzy. See, the darker bronze they are, the more they're down in the river. They're not out in the ocean. All right, Bob, what's it say? 12, 10, 12, uh, between he's, 12 and 13. 12 and 13, somewhere in between 12 and 13. Wow, what a wonderful fish, Bob. Wonderful fish. All right, he's definitely not gonna make it. You wanna take a picture? Yeah, quick. Okay. Dave, I gotta quit for a minute. I gotta text my wife and tell her I got an inshore slam on the Jetty Wolf. That's right. Redfish trout flounder inshore slam dunk with the addition of L sheep's head. Sheep's head. Yeah, that's just an addition. And one bluefish. Yeah. Well, we don't we don't, <laughs> we don't count that. We don't count the green scourge. Alrighty, folks, we're back. And it's time for a little fish redemption. And I don't have my fillets all in my truck, so I have to do them sheep's head by hand. Yuck. <laughs>
Yeah, see the whole thing about that fillet saw blades on the Makita saw is it spoils you. That's the exact same blade as the Makita or the fillet saw blades except black. And um, boy does that thing spoil you. Well, I'm gonna do it just like you would do the fillet saw. Doing them up here instead of on the boat because of see all these guys they attack me on my boat it's they're still baitless not really because I saw pogies I actually saw pogies Bob out at the uh, out at the jetties last time I was there huh. all right that's the next smallest one. Two oversized reds. This is what we kept. And then we got these guys. These guys. There you go. Five trout. And how many trout did we throw back? Uh, Eight, ten? Yeah. At least. A bunch of small little 14 inches. So there you go. Alright. Say goodnight, Irene. Good night, Irene.